Warnings on individual cigarettes. Health supplements inside packages. Ban on flavors in electronic cigarettes and other products are among a number of new world-leading changes proposed by the federal government in new proposal to stop vaping smoking. On World No Tobacco Day, Health Minister Mark Butler said the nearly 300-page long bill will be published today in hopes that it will be submitted to Parliament later this year and become law by April 2024. Butler said changes are primarily aimed at reducing rising vaping rates among the nation's youth and addressing 12% of Australians who still smoke every day. Warnings on individual cigarettes, health supplements inside packages, and bans on flavours are among a number of new world-leading changes proposed by the federal government. Overall, these measures contained in bill are intended to deal with marketing strategies tobacco industry has put in place to circumvent purpose of flat packaging and graphic packaging that we introduced 10 years ago, said Butler. It is clear that in the last 10 years, no significant steps have been taken to build on the reforms that Nicola Roxon pioneered 10 years ago. Read New Report reveals horrific truth about electronic cigarettes The changes are primarily aimed at curbing the rising vaping rates among the country's youth. Tobacco or smoking is still the leading cause of preventable death and disability in Australia. About 12% of Australians smoke every day, although this rate has decreased significantly over the past decade, but still means that more than 2 million Australians smoke daily. Butler added that as a result of no further action in recent years, smoking rates have remained essentially stable. Health Minister Mark Butler said the nearly 300-page long bill will be published today, with the hope that it will be presented to Parliament later this year. In fact, a recent study British Medical Journal showed that Australia is not currently on track to meet the targets agreed by all governments in national tobacco strategy. As a result, the Health Minister announced that Labor intends to implement the following standardised package sizing and products standardise the look and size of filters and flavours and additives limit and prohibit the use of names designed to mislead users update warnings and graphic S on cigarette packs include health warnings on each cigarette in a pack require the tobacco industry to include public health supplements in all packages as I said. This law is in draft form, being released. Today as a display draft with an advisory, Butler said. Vivid Sydney dazzles on opening night I plan to introduce into Parliament later this year. And we plan to pass law through Parliament by April 1, 2024. There will be a transition period of 15 months, so the new regulations, the new requirements will come into effect on July 1, 2025.